Today we're going to be giving you a really easy introduction to web scraping in Python. So for this tutorial we're going to be using Beautiful Soup. So in order to use Beautiful Soup you actually have to install it. So open up terminal and do pip install Beautiful Soup 4. I already have it installed. And another requirement we need is requests. So pip install requests. Anyways, once that's done, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to import requests and we're going to import beautiful soup. Oh, whoops. And now uh, let's get to the web scraping. So the first thing we need to do is download the HTML code from a web page. So to do that, we're going to set our URL equal to, let's just use this fake Python jobs website. So I'm just going to copy the URL and we're going to set the URL to the um, job website URL. And now we're going to use a get request. So for this, we're going to assign the HTML code to a variable basically. So we're going to say HTML, let's just call it HTML, equals requests dot get. And then the argument here is going to be URL. So now if we print, let's just show you, HTML dot text, then it's going to print out this website's um, HTML code, which is this. So let's just test this out. Python 3 drag this in and here we have the HTML code for this website but now how do we actually start to interpret it for that we're going to use beautiful soup so um, the first thing we need to do is set our web scraper up so we're going to do s equals beautiful soup uh, we're going to do HTML dot content as our first argument and then we're going to do html.parser all right so now that we have our um, s object our beautiful soup object set up we can actually start to use it to find things from this html code so let's say we want to find um, all of the job titles Senior Python developer, energy engineer, etc. So the first thing we need to do is find where that's located. So I know for a fact that a lot of this is located in this results container. So we're going to open that up. And now we have these classes. Let's open them up. Card content. Let's see, media is it here? Media content. Title is five. So H2 title is five. Senior Python developer. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to search results container for title is five and then print out uh, the title is five value. So for this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to do um, results equals s.find id equals results container. So this is essentially uh, allowing us to search results container. And now we are going to do job title equals results dot find all. And now we have our first argument, which is going to be h2. So basically, you can use the tag it could be P, it could be H2, it could be div, it could be H3, something like that. So we're just going to use H2 because, as you guys can see, it's an H2 header 2 tag. And now we are going to set our second argument to the class. So class equals, let's see, what does the class equal? Uh, title is 5. I'm just going to copy and paste it so that I don't make a typo. And now we can 
get job title and we basically have an array of beautiful soup objects that contain these job titles. Now, let's say we want to print out the first one, Senior Python Developer. So how do we access the first item in an array? We use brackets and index zero. Then we put dot text to access the actual text. Now print that out and let's test this out. Hopefully it works. Senior Python Developer. Now what if we want to print them all? So for item in, oh, let's just use for job in job title. Got to care about variable names if I can type. For job in job title, print job.text. So print that out. And here's all the jobs. And of course you can um, repeat this job title job description, etc., to find different things. Um, but it's basically the same format. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please do drop a like. Thanks for watching. Bye.